Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you the best location for leveling and also let you know the results of the IB Superfan competition at the end of the video. So with leveling there's two aspects. First you need to master your equipment to level and second you need to upgrade that equipment at the forge and that takes some time. So let's look at the best quests for speeding up time at the forge. And in 10th place, it's the Pinnacle Monastery, which has 9 Titans and takes off 4 hours. So that's a total of 26 minutes a Titan. In 9th place is the Dark Citadel, which has 10 Titans and takes off 4.5 hours. So that's 27 minutes a Titan. And in 8th place, it's Larioth with seven titans and takes off about four hours so it works out at 34 minutes a titan and with the broken tower that's at seventh place and you'll see that it takes off 36 minutes a titan and in sixth place is the plains of Koroth and that has four titans take and takes off three and a half hours so that's 52 minutes a titan obviously the higher the number the more time is going to come off the forge so with the arc it's in fifth place at 53 minutes a titan and that's if you don't defeat the worker and re redo the act and the fourth place is the vault of tears with 54 minutes a titan and third place is meteors with four titans and four hours so that takes off an hour a titan and in second place it's Drems Moor and that has three titans and takes off four hours so that's 80 minutes a titan and the winner is as some of you already know the Sekian Desert and it's three titans and about five hours time comes off so that's a hundred minutes a titan which is an hour and a half comes off your forge per titan. So the Sekian Desert is the best location to speed up your forge. And you'll see there four and three quarter hours came off that time. It does vary, but it's around the five hour mark. And most time will come off your forge. So that's a great place to grind to take your time off the forge. Now what happens if you do a full playthrough? And I'll show you here, I went through the whole game uh, with every act, with all the bosses, without grinding any, any quests. And I took note of all the times, as you'll see there. And the only one that didn't show a time was the Plains of Karok. And I worked that out from the forge, what, of what I had in the forge. I could tell how much time had gone by, and it was about four hours. So I calculated the amount of titans in every act and all the time that goes by. And I thought it would come out pretty high because a lot of hours goes by for each act. But there are a lot of titans as well. And so I'll show you now the result. And it's 74 minutes a titan. There were 69 titans and 85 hours came off. And so it ranked third after Drems more. So now I look at the other aspect of leveling which is XP that you need to master your equipment and if you have a lot of equipment that you need to master and want to get the most XP from a quest then for Cyrus the best one is the Dark Citadel which has 10 Titans and to boost the amount of XP that you get I recommend that you use XP gems the hexagon green ones and you'll see I have a couple stacked there and so I was able to master the equipment I was wearing in one fight and the other way to boost it is the XP is Titan level gems these gems increase the level of the Titan and you get more XP as well as gold from each fight so you'll see here that my Titans level has gone up 7000 plus and I get a whole heap more XP. I get one and a half million instead of 500,000 that I got from the previous fight. And so I was able to master my armor, rings and everything. So for Issa, the quest with the most XP for her is the Pinnacle Monastery as it has nine Titans. So basically it's the 
It's the quest with the most battles will give you the most XP per quest, although not the most time off your forge. So this is to be used when you've got a lot of equipment and you want to master as much as possible in one quest. And you'll see there I was able to master everything in one fight again. And here's the announcement of this IV Superfan winner and it's Grant No of the Epic Games Forum. So congratulations to Grant. He won for his creation in Minecraft of Saranthia. And there's a link in the description under this video if you'd like to check it out. For more information about leveling, check out this video. Thanks for watching Tamil Channel, your favourite channel for Infinity Blade. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel and check out my social pages and my website, tamilchannel.com. Thanks, see you next time.